I've been running some really fascinating polls on the channel recently, just trying to gauge whether people like Babylon or not, because I just suck at them. I know I suck at them, and I think it's gold. Gold is such a big problem for me. Like, you can accelerate up the tech tree as much as you want, but unless you've got 2,000 gold to put down a factory and then a coal power plant, it's, it's just not going to really do much for you. So I just, I feel like I miss out on the pillaging and the gold side of it as well. I'm also terrible at getting great scientists. I know this. I really should go for the great, the library. The great library is worth, what, eight or nine techs for Babylon? It's amazing. I know that. So maybe I've got to give them another go sometime. I just, I feel like I haven't, I barely scraped them. But coming back to this, as you can tell, sometimes I have a little break in recording because I'm doing stuff like work and then I come back and I'm looking at it and thinking, where am I going to really focus? Now, building a coal mine and an ironclad will be helped by two shipyards. I'm doing that automatically. That will give me artillery. Oil, I'm just about to pick up through Blabalon, which is about to get a coal power plant for me. Once I've got oil, extracting an artifact will give me tanks. Um, I need a level 2 alliance, which I'm most likely to get with Egypt or Boulevard. So I need to start sending them trade routes, actually. Oh, how is this one working? Trade route from the ally. Boulevard is most likely. Now, Malgam, I did see that there was a trade route available to him from there. So we'll do that quickly. That's wonderful. Now, that'll give us anti-tank crews, which are 75 strength. But really, we could go one further and go to 85 modern anti-tanks by owning three tanks. And to own three tanks, we need to extract an artifact. Now, I believe, yeah, I'm not far off humanism. So I'm actually going to get Blabalon. Once it's done with the coal power plant, I'm going to get it to build a theater square and then go to put an archaeologist down. I think that's going to work nicely for me. The extra trader is also going to boost medieval fairs, which will let us change government so I can get a better religious government because I need to go and kill these gurus. If I can kill the gurus, I can spread my crusade over and we can get after the Mayans again. Get three gold for a trade route. That's three science, sorry. One culture, six gold. That'll do. Medieval fairs boosted. I really hoped that would boost this turn, but nope. Not going to happen. Okay, so we should get the alliance. We're getting 15 points every 10 turns. We should be about 25 turns. If I can pick up Vissel Banking quickly, I believe that's an additional 0.25. So that will help a lot. We'll do that. There's the factory done, by the way. So the coal power plant will go down now. More production towards buildings in this district. I'm going to go for city center again and hope that goes through. And then I'm going to go for more grievances for me because the world hates me. That should give me the two points. Encampment and turn I've never seen encampment come up, actually. That's a really interesting one. All right. I'm going to hope that I get Oglagaki, um, uh, the card with the government plaza. Oh my god, the one that gives me plus four. Oh, you know what? I, I, I've, lost my, I've lost my train of thought. Theocracy. <laughs> Let's go Theocracy. I need the five religious strength in combat at the moment. That's going to give me huge boosts. I'm going to get rid of Scripture, which isn't really giving me much. Strategos is kind of half getting me a general. I kind of do need a general, so I kind of am tempted to keep that, but I think I'd rather just pay for you to pop up. Feudal Contract is really important. I keep that one, but Craftsman is probably more important, so we'll do that one. Roars of Religion. Uh, when a non-religious unit fights civilization, I mean, if, I, if I've got that, then I'm not using Crusades. So that's probably not a good idea. I wanted Vissel Bankham. That I know. That's really good. Uh, let's have a quick look and see what else. I think I want Serfdom because builders are really, really good. And I'm building up a lot of stuff in my cities. I think I'm also going to just, instead of Raid, I'm going to quickly pick up Veterancy because I'm building lots of Harbour District buildings and things like that that's really cool and I think I need one more card so we're going to go for urban planning just to give me a little bit more of a production boost across my nation which now means I've got a wild card and until I pick up the legacy card for Oglagaki legacy that's the word I'm looking for goodness me strategios oh, yeah, I'm going to pick it back up that'll do no no I don't want that one I want the combat religious orders there we go right so now my apostles have plus 10 strength which means, there we go, they can now easily take on these gurus, which is much better because I need to kill these gurus because that's the only way I'm spreading my religion. Um, you know what? No. Go away. Of course, typical AI strategy, they're not moving their apostles or their, their gurus back to actually protect themselves, which is, I mean, hilarious, but that's fine. We've got some good adjacency boosts here. So bam, there we go. You can see this city has already flipped which is wonderful. 
Now we're just going to quickly go and get a mosque in this city and buy a couple of missionaries that will help to spread. Cool. Now that's really, really cool. There's actually nothing stopping me here. I've got seven spreads on this apostle. It's actually really, really good. So we'll do that quickly and we'll just move you round to there. There we go. The capital now follows the religion. I think that's going to be almost close enough now in order to go to war. So we're just going to wait next turn so I can rescue my apostles and then we'll go from there. Okay, right. Now, the next question is who wants to go to war with the Mayans? Because I'm getting 16 gold per turn from them at the moment. So if I can get a joint war going, that would help. Yeah, Boulevard wants it. He wants it very badly. Okay, that's great. Um, I'm going to just basically take anything I can from him. Some horses. Basically, like, I can sell these back to people. So I'll just, I'll just take it while I can. 40 of them. Great. Uh, he's not going to let me have the coal or the nitre. Okay. Okay, good. War it is. Brilliant. And then hopefully I can actually go and immediately get um you into this war egypt because yeah look at that they want the war as well lovely stuff there you go that'll do so that means we're all at war we've got military alliance going my bombards are going to be happy and just firing away at this city they do have pretty sweet walls up at the moment they are tough walls but that's okay we will keep on pushing Okay, their city defences are doing about 40 damage to my crossbows and 20 damage to my actual siege units. Which isn't too bad, actually. That's fine. Refining is now boosted, which means I've got oil on the map. I'm hoping I've got some oil. Yes, I do. It's under a preserve. We won't talk about the mechanics of that one. <laughs> There's oil in the ground. Quick! All, all the bambies and all the, all the sweet little animals. Just, just rip them out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh dear, loads of coal down in the south. Bandar Brunei's got some oil down there. Uh, I was ravaged by a natural disaster. Yes, I'm absolutely going to put that on. Oh, no, I want to add that as a proposal. Submit, there we go. I always think the wording of that is always a little bit tricky. Perfect, so we've got refining. That means we could get battleships now, but now we know we've got at least some oil per turn. Means we're going to be rushing towards artifacts. Owning three muskets is actually owning three line inventory from memory. Hopefully we'll get a unit kill with a knight, which will give me military science. It's, it's all connected. This is big brain plays with Babylon. You have to be about 500 steps ahead of yourself at any one point. Now that the capital is done, it's actually got five of eight districts here. So I could do a theatre square on this tile, which means I'm going to put a government plaza on this tile. Lovely. I need the extra governors and I also want to get my policy cards back. So that was the crossbow that was tribute. Okay, interesting. Right, we'll go move you back into the city. Uh, let's move you forward one, you forward one. This is the tile I want to get my units on. Actually, maybe I can get my knight in to come and cross the river like that. Uh, ba -ba 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 bombard is not going to be able to hit from there, so just move you on top of the hill. I need to move you forward as well, actually. So we'll get this bombard forward. Good, right. Both my bombards are in combat range now. Targeted by an aggressive enemy. Nah, I'm not going to join on that one. But we will vote for natural disaster. Let's see if I can get a bit of gold from my allies. Uh, aid request passed. Yay! Okay, people hopefully should start to pay me some gold now. That'd be lovely. And here come the bombards. Perfect. Right. Now, I need more bombards in my life. I think artillery are going to be a huge step up there. 80 strength compared to, I think, 55? Yeah, I mean, artillery are just a massive increase for me. So I will get that with the ironclad. I'm building the second shipyard down in this city, and I've got a builder just about to come over and try and rush it through a little bit, which should help massively. So he is now sieged as well. I just need to remember to get the kill with the knight. I'm going to forget. Just, I need you guys to do something for me. Just shout at the screen continually <laughs> until I get it, okay? Um, I'm just going to quickly get that over because I want to put raid in uh, instead of religious orders. I don't need that anymore. That is not very useful to me anymore. Perfect. So that'll do. We'll go for this one. That's a great set of policies. Now I can raid, which means I can pillage science, which Babylon is like the only way I can get anything. Uh, build two forts in my territory. I can't do that. Have I done that yet? Have I unlocked what forts are? Yes, I have. Right, why am I not doing that? I built a military engineer for that very reason. I'm going to build thoughts. 
Have the Enlightenment Civic. Kill a unit with a knight. Build two shit. I think Scientific Theory is basically the only one I can work that's not pointless. Uh, I'm going to get everything else. Humanism, Enlightenment. Yeah, I might be a couple turns off. I mean, no, I'm going to get that anyway. Oh, useless. Nah, really, it doesn't matter what I what I research. I haven't got any dump techs at the moment. Bombard and bombard. Okay, they're finally starting to shoot my bombards. They figured out what I'm doing. The cunning ruse that it was. Let's band our Brunei. So they're the ones down here. They also had access to some oil. So I will just go and send a builder down there in a second and go and pick that up because that'll give me six oil per turn, which is enough artillery to sink a small planet. And let's just quickly pick up the Warlord's Throne in two turns. That's a nice little pickup for me. 77 production in Babylon. Or Blabalon, I'm sorry. I'm not giving it its official title. That's appalling of me. I'm very sorry. There's my Thirst Fort. So you build one more and I'll have that boosted. Two more volleys of the Bombards. The walls are now down to less than one third strength, which means hopefully I can start using my units to do some killing. How much uh, strength is that going to do? Not enough actually one more turn of bombards i think warlords thrown complete okay theater square now that's going to be plus five so we'll take that very good a bit more culture in my capital but we can also get the archaeological museum going there which will be a very tasty thing well actually i'm just going to pick up the grandmaster's chapel first because what would my games be if not just flitting from one thing to another bit more of the wall gone and even more of the wall gone good okay now now we should be in place where we can I just want my knight to get the kill that would be the most important thing oh that's almost on zero strength now which means the knight can come in that gives me the knight kill and there's military science which means I can now get line inventory line inventory much more powerful bam oh an extra military policy slot. That's perfect. Actually, oh, damn, I could have got my um, professional army going. I only had one musket, so it's probably not worth it. But there we go. Raid, craftsman, veterancy. It's all looking good. Uh, and get invention. That'd be pretty nice. But oligarchic legacy gives me just a little bit more strength on my unit. So let's just do that. Stop them from dying to siege weaponry. That's a good thing. Very useful thing, that Inquisitor. Just take some of the religion off. Good. Oh, we know that's not going to flip now. And actually, let's rush through the shipyard. There is steam power. Okay, we just needed one ironclad. And I believe the ironclad will give us artillery. Okay, now how do we build an ironclad? What's the quickest way of doing this one? 14 turns in that city. Um, is this city going to be a bit quicker? Oh, actually, no. I've got a galley that can go up. 640 gold. I can do that very quickly because I've got some allies who will buy stuff from me if it's actually let's just get Vietnam's gold in one go that means I can now upgrade that there's the iron card there is steel okay now we just need to get enough money to get the steel upgrade it's, it's, it's all circular but you know we're getting there there's the other thought by the way which means ballistics is here field cannons yay and let's just quickly rush through the Grandmaster's Chapel. We're just getting rid of some stone. I always like to put mines down rather than quarries. Don't know why. Just always feels like a better use of my time. And now I can actually just faith purchase in artillery. Which is a wonderful thing. We love that. We love that a lot. There we go. Oil is now not just a theoretical thing. There we go. Just a single artillery. It doesn't even have crusade. Bam. And the walls begin to vanish. I love it. Everyone loves it. It's an amazing addition. And actually, my pike and shot can start to do some damage to these walls. Okay, that Yokib city is going to go pretty quick. What I'm just trying to work out now is just getting there, get my religion through to Uxmal, which is now a thing. One more artillery strike. Oh, yeah. Okay, now which of my units need upgrades? I like that one. That's a good upgrade. This is a good upgrade. Um, you know, I'm just, as I said, I'm, I'm actually quite relaxed as to how quickly we take these cities out. Oh, Napoleon forms an army out of a land unit. Oh, you know what we could do with that? Artillery army, I think. Oxmal actually has more defense than a lot of the cities we've seen before. Oh, there's main line inventory, of course. They're getting smart. They're learning. Machine learning, that's kind of what this is. Mercantilism, Oligarchic Legacy is pretty decent, Serfdom, Urban Planning, Urban Planning is not so great, Triangular Trade will give me a bit more actually. 
craftsman veteran C red. I kind of want now to go for the upgrades again. Professional army. Let's put that instead of veterancy. Perfect. That means we can start upgrading our units a little bit cheaper. I'm thinking crossbows into field cannons. These are very good upgrades. Gives me scorched earth as well. Rockib is taken. Perfect. Am I going to go for a culture victory? I don't think I need to go for a culture victory. So I might just sort of not. He turns off the alliance now. Oh, less than five turns. Six turns? What does that work out as? Until I get uh, the level two alliance, which will give me anti-tank crews. 75 strength units. Those are pretty damn tough. Oh yes, Nazca lions. I remember now. <laughs> Beautiful things. Love them. Yeah, I thought that artillery armor would be pretty powerful. Kaplonk. We'll do that. We'll do another one. And then I think Napoleon, I am just going to retire him into an army. There we go. So we've got an artillery armor of 97 bombard strength, just ready to go next turn. Beautiful stuff. One more line inventory we gives me, there we go, actual inventory. Weapons. Again, even more powerful. Perfect. We've got some really good upgrades kicking along now. Leonardo da Vinci. That's Eureka's for a random technology from a modern era. And I get two of them. That's really cool, modern era. So, hang on, extract an artifact, uh, level two alliance. We know we're gonna get these two. Um, it's just whether or not I rush it, because I can kind of push it towards getting industrial era. So flight would be useful, national park would be useful, electricity would be useful. They're all pretty useful. It's just a gamble as to whether or not I pick up something I was already on the way to getting, but I guess if this rushes it through. So you know what, I'm gonna do it, combustion. So no more archeologist needed. That's fine, but now we've got tanks and supply convoys. Both of those things are amazing. Oh, now it's just building three tanks, I believe, in order to get myself three modern armors. This is what faith is for. I'm using my faith basically to just like beeline and be able to produce tanks, which I quite like the idea of. Yeah, you know what, this, this may work. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, The Broccoli, Midnight Oil, and Truffa Daskby for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you everybody for all of your support generally. It is brilliant. See you in my next video.